Boy, our friend uh, Pat Egan standing by. Well, a little segment we like to call All the Takes. <laughs> what's up there, Patrick? Hello. Hey, what's happening? Hey, Pat. All right, if you're on hey, the police are here, Pat. Are they here for you? Yeah, what was that about? Are they really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the police, the cops are here? The cops are yeah, here. Like in our Fuzz. studio? Well, Everything. A-com. Yeah, they just walked past. I thought I got away with that. Okay, Th- anyway. <laughs> we'll move on. Yes. Uh, if you're unaware, we have a presidential election coming up in what? less than a month. I know. Now, I'll do my best not to sound too much like a lib snowflake soy boy with this story. Some people are very passionate about the election. I know, surprising. Seems like there isn't really a lot of gray area, and some are going very far trying to do their best to make sure that the candidate they support will win. And since it's 2020, it's great that you have Scott Bayo endorsing you, but what do you do when you have influencers actively campaigning against you? Well, that's what's going on with Donald Trump, who's dealing not just with COVID, but with the fact that influencer slash YouTuber slash only fan star slash Instagram model, huh? uber talented, uber educated, Tana Mojo, uh, she is what going for Joe are, Biden. What language are you speaking? Once again, uh, that's, what's that's a hell of a description, though. She is an influencer. A YouTube star, an OnlyFans star. Hold on, you, an Instagram model. Did you, did you, you mentioned Biden? Did you see what Biden said yesterday? Oh no. yeah. I'm sorry. Is there is there something? There, yeah, there's yeah, more to this. Let, story. Oh, there's let more. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Mojo's going with Biden, right? <laughs> Mojo's with Biden, and she wants Biden to win so badly that she was sending nudes to people who proved to her that they were voting for Biden. She even used the hashtag. Booty for Biden. So everyone knew she wasn't playing games with this whole thing, right? Oh, good. All right. The only problem is that's pretty illegal. This constitute is buying someone's vote. Oh, really? Yeah, but after looking through her Instagram account, something tells me she can pull off that orange jumpsuit look. (laughs) So influencers are doing their part. Uh Scott Bayo's doing his part. Everyone's trying to get their guy elected. Nice. You can't send nudes in order for votes. Oh. I've tried. I thought this was a (laughs) mess. Nobody I took me up on the a, offer. I thought this was America. Anyway, you see what Biden said yesterday? No. You didn't see this? No. This was, is this awesome. Is, was, I thought this was going to be in all your no, takes. That's why this, I didn't bring this, it up. This is not awesome. You never want to hear this. Are you talking about the dancers? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about something different. Go ahead. Apparently, I went to see these, like, 14-year-old girls at, like, some dance academy in Florida or something, and they were, like, you know, performing for the presidential candidate, former vice president, and he said something along the lines of, wow, these girls were great. This was beautiful. Can't wait to watch them in four four more years. No. No, you don't say that. No, you don't Don't. say that. No. No, you don't say that. No. Goo. Sir. No. Goo. (laughs) Anyway, if you send nudes to Tana Mojo, she might, uh, your proof of your ballot, she might still send you nudes. But wait. All right. But wait, there's more. Oh, there are. There is more. Bobby, that's a tease. So So Joe Biden invoked Doc Rivers in one of his speeches yesterday. Yeah. 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 That's not bad. No. You hire a coach and you get in Gettysburg, right? Yeah. Well, what will Doc Rivers have more influence over? Uh, the Sixers front office or the presidential election? That's Six one tomorrow's, Twitter p- yeah. <laughs> tomorrow's Twitter poll. Tomorrow's Twitter poll. What else you got there, well, Patrick? You, real quick, don't forget, too, Biden was the one who started the Wentz wagon. Keep chopping. Yes, he did. <laughs> he started. He told Obama oh. about the Wentz wagon. I was Bo-bon? unaware. I was unaware. Obama or Obama? Obama. Barack, okay. you got to get on the Wentz wagon. That was <laughs> Biden who told him that. So right. now he's doing Doc Rivers. You was see that, where he's was going. Un- was unaware. Uh, World Series tickets are sold out. They eleven. They they made eleven thousand five hundred tickets available. Yeah. They sold out in ninety minutes. Are you surprised it took ninety minutes, or did you think it would take longer? Uh, I, I thought it would take longer. Really? Yeah, I thought it would take longer. I, but then I'm again, a, I, that was before the NFL news today. So yeah, I'm actually shocked. Yeah. I thought it would take maybe twenty minutes, like seconds. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I, I'm like, a, like minute, a Van Halen but, concert. Well, I mean, eleven thousand tickets isn't that much. No, uh, it's not. You're right. It's being held in Texas, which doesn't care about coronavirus at all. Was that a sly Van Halen reference in, in the in the due to the you passing like that, of? Yeah, we talked about it yeah. on the air last night. Pour one out. Pour one out. What we'll, else you got? We'll move on. There's a saying in basketball, and Mark, you heard it quite a bit yesterday as we shot hoops. The saying is, shooters shoot. Yes. And you don't tell a sniper to holster his weapon even if the game is all but over. Uh Uh-huh. And that's what happened last night in the Lakers' heat game. Oh, Which was over. I mean, this game was over. The Lakers were up 102-93. The spread for the game was heat plus 7.5. But then Tyler lived up to the name on his back. He became a hero. With two seconds left, he hit a three ball. A dagger to some gamblers. A Hail Mary to others. Tyler 
is just that. He became a hero. For others, he is just a war criminal, as Jamie would say. <laughs> I ask you, gentlemen, though, what's the worst bad beat you've ever had? Uh... Yeah, I, I... You can't think of one bad beat? I can't beat. think of one bad... Because not like that. Not on that level. Like, oh I don't, I don't bet often enough for that to happen. I, mean, I have so oh, many. I got it. Yeah, I, 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 I can so immediately think First time I ever bet it. Bill, I ever bet. Bill Buckner. World oh, Series. That's wow. a good one. That's yeah. a great one. Wow. Yeah. I, great I remember one. where I was. Yeah. I remember what I had. In, uh, oh, Bobby's, yeah, Bobby's ready to cash his two bits, and then all of a sudden the ball goes through Buckner's legs. Nice. Ah. Oh. What's yours, uh, Jamie? Ah, oh, man, I, there's so many. <laughs> I can't even recall, like, the worst. Really? You what are your top five? I'll give, I'll give, one, on I'll give my worst, and then you think of yours. My worst by far was uh, this UFC fighter who, uh, named, well, his nickname's Korean Zombie, was winning the fight and got knocked out by an elbow with one second left. Oh. And I was, I, was, I was ready to take my $3 and go into Wawa and say, this one's on. You just won 75 cents. It's personal. It's a business gambling question. I'll flip it on its head. I'll give you the best where I backdoored one. Oh, what do you got? Brandon Graham's fumble recovery last year. Was that Washington game where they scooped and scored? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that yeah. was Nigel Bradham. Nigel Bradham. Oh, Nigel Bradham. Yeah. Yeah. Nigel Bradham. Yeah. 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 And were you filming that? Because right. we were all in studio. Yeah. And we were all freaking out. I won two bucks on that. <laughs> Big day it's, for Pat. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a good game. Yeah. All right, no, there's been so many minuscule bad beats that I can't even I can't even recall. I throw them out of my mind. Okay. I, I did just win 75 cents, by the way. Good, well, um, what was the bet? Uh, Leeds United, uh, next goal. Shout out to Leeds. We all have. Yeah, we all have there you go. We're Leeds proud. Right. Social media can actually be a cool place. I mean, look, it's full of people telling us we suck. But every once in a while, someone comes along and makes being on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram worth it. And that's what happened when viral video. You've likely seen his original video or a variation of it last week or so. It's shockingly isn't his real name. Believe it or not, his real name is Nathan Apodaco. Uh, <laughs> anyway, four dog... 420 Dogface 208 skateboarding down what looks to be a busy highway. He's sipping on Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice while singing the Fleetwood Mac song Dreams. Cran Raz. Oh. Okay, thank you. you have you seen this? No, I haven't. Oh, oh it's yeah, you've been, yeah, you been living under a viral. rock? Yeah, I've been living Welcome under a rock. Welcome to the rock. internet, Mark. Uh, well, wait, what's that? <laughs> are, you, are you even an internet guy? I call it the World Wide Web. <laughs> I'm thinking of a way to abbreviate that, but I don't know how. It, just go to Ask Jeeves, Mark. You'll find it. <laughs> uh, the video actually has the song Dreams trending again. R oh, wow. It's like number one in Spotify. Oh, yeah, okay. it's incredible. But the backstory and subsequent reaction is a feel good story. So, Apado. Appa, I'll just call him Dogface, uh, was heading to work in a potato factory when his truck broke down. So he grabbed his skateboard, uh, grabbed his juice, and headed off to work. He filmed it, uploaded it while clocking in, posted it, and it blew up. Well, Dogface doesn't live the lavish lifestyle that you might think. He lives in a trailer on his brother's property. Trailer has no running water. His truck, as I mentioned, broke down. But that's all recently changed as he's received $20,000 in donations because of this video. Wow. A real estate agent reached out to him about helping him get his place of his own. And Ocean Spray also wants to do something with him. So sometimes, and it, look, it's very rare, but the internet doesn't suck. Wait, Ocean Spray did do something. They have. Yeah, they brought him a new truck, and the bed was filled with Cran Raspberry Ocean Spray Oh, drinks. see, I didn't, that must have been an update. Nope. I must have yeah. been yeah. Cran Raz. That, that broke over. That's the best part about all the takes is you get all of them. See, I gave yeah, you some right, of the take, right, and right, then right. Jamie. He has a he million. Made, he fulfilled He and Instagram followers now. Cran. Oh, my God. Cran Raspberry uh, automatically makes me throw up. Oh. Yeah, I'm wow. a Cran Grape guy. I don't yeah. like Cran Raspberry. Anything Cran, actually. I'm and, out. Oh, and really? Mick, no. Physically, Mick Fleetwood, Fleetwood, speaking, yeah. physically speaking, can't do it. Mick Fleetwood on his property in Hawaii he actually got on a skateboard, drank Cran Raspberry, <laughs> he did, and, yeah. and mouthed the words to dream. Well, I mean, he better. His song's number one again. <laughs> no one's loved this song in years. Now the world's a better place. It is. All thanks to Dogface. All right. Uh, birthday is today. Sauce Castillo, Nick Stauskis. Oh, the sauce man. I'll tell you what. He's the shooter the Sixers need. Fun fact, TJ McConnell looked at him before his bride. What? TJ McConnell said in an interview that during his wedding, he was going to look at Nick Stauskis' face before he looked at him. from Mississauga. Mississauga, Ontario. Yeah. That's right. Home That's of the right. Mississauga Steelheads. Right to uh, Toronto. Yeah. yeah, they might have some kids get drafted today. Uh -huh. Former forgotten Eagle target, Jarius Bird. 
Remember oh, when the wow. Eagles won? Oh, yeah. It was either here or Malcolm Jeez, Jenkins, right? It, yeah, it was like Malcolm Jenkins. We were all like, oh, God. And uh, Jerry Spurd. TJ Ward was another name out yeah, there. Yeah, well, yeah. that's one of the Chip Kelly's few good moves. Yeah, right. And one of the best undrafted players in NFL history, Priest Holmes celebrates a birthday that's today. That's right. Priest, uh, tw- uh, how many touchdowns that one year? 27? Uh, I think he's still scoring touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty. I, I remember going against him in fantasy that year. That was a lot of fun. And then one final birthday today. And here's a guy who's coming along, all right, someone the Eagles really like. They're developing. He's he's going to be there soon. All Nate right. the Great Sudfeld. Oh, my goodness. Absolute right. second round tenure. Happy 42nd birthday to Nate Sudfeld. It feels like it's been <laughs> that long. All right. Uh, today in history, in 1916, Georgia Tech, who were coached by a guy named John Heisman, uh-huh. won the most lopsided college football game ever. Give me a guess on what the score was. 118 to 3. 96 nothing. Jamie? 69 to <laughs> 6. <laughs> 222 to nothing. Oh, wow. my God. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. How do you let that happen? Um, uh, well, they, they let the other team score a lot. And well, they no. The I mean, they let Georgia Tech score repeatedly until the score. Are you even a football guy? <laughs> you know how it works? Okay. In 1947, the GM of the Yankees resigned after the World Series. His name? Larry McPhail. The grandfather oh. of Andy McPhail. God, I love nepotism. Yeah, I just fun. love it. I love it. It's great. All right, I have, I have something. Oh, do you have something else? Uh, go ahead. Uh, I was just. I, I, I do was, have another story. But go, go, ahead. go for it. No, what do you got? Uh, and then in 1969, the Phillies traded Dick Allen to the Cardinals for a guy named Kurt Flood. Flood is someone every baseball player should thank because yeah. he refused yeah. to come to the Phillies, took Major League Baseball to court over the quote reserve clause. Flood won, and thus free agency was started. Yeah, yes, I, did it, I think he uh, painted more pictures than he did at bats after that. Yeah, where did he go? The south Chicago, of France or something? He, yeah, he moved to the south of France. He also had a stint as the A's color commentator, but he wasn't good at it. Um, <laughs> it so yeah, there's a documentary. Well, uh, shout out to our new man, uh, Tyson Forrester. Go ahead. That's it. That's the thing. Apparently he's got uh, some sniping just shot out. That's 20, it. 23rd uh, overall pick by your Philadelphia Flyers I know. I've been, I've been putting he's it in the a, update. He's a short. He's yeah. a shoot. I know, but we haven't talked about it. He's a shoot first kind of guy. It's in the update. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but he's a shoot first kind of guy. The update's coming, coming uh, along. They came out with Finding Forrester reference minutes. for Sean Connery. I'll mention it in three minutes. That's you're a great movie. You're the man now, dog. Yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah, that's what I, yeah that's they nice picked him and, and immediately I went Something out. in that movie I tried out for a little while and I didn't hate. Uh, the socks, Inside Out Socks. Inside Out Socks. I do it. Wait, why? Because the seam would be on the outside and it won't be like pushing on your toes. You won't feel that extra Never noticed irritation. It. The seam goes over the top of your toes, you mean? Like you yeah. feel? I don't yeah, feel yeah. that on my... Yeah, you, but you, huh. if, if, you flip them, if you flip feet. them inside and out, you'll realize it. Yeah, well, you'll you realize it once you flip it. Thank yeah. you, Sean Connery. Well, Interesting. No, no, thank you, Tyson Ford. Wear socks, you're welcome, America. And that is all it takes. You're all the man now, dog. Mark Farzetta with Bob Cooney and Jamie Lynch. Mornings on 97.5 The Fanatic. <laughs> Philadelphia. Philadelphia.